I'm Noodle and in today's X4 Foundations update video I will be talking about the 1.60 update that was released today as well as the goals that Egosoft have set themselves for their future 2.0, 2.5 and 3.0 updates. Oh yeah and there's also a little bit of information about the first planned expansion for the game too which will also add another race to the game. I'll talk more about this at the end of the video. First off, I do want to apologise for using my recycled cinematic gameplay in the background instead of gameplay that actually shows you what I'm talking about, but I've only done this because I'm severely limited for time, so yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, for the 1.60 update that has just been released, Egosoft have added some music tracks from their previous games to X4 Foundations. I'm not sure exactly how many tracks have been added, but regardless, this is pretty cool. Not only because it adds a bit more of a variety of music to the game for everyone to enjoy, but also because it should give veteran players, such as myself, a nice nostalgic feel to the game. Egosoft have also added a map filter option to the Allied Order Queue visualization, which means that we'll be able to declutter the map when trying to navigate it. The map can get quite cluttered at times, especially later into the game, so this is a really good addition. They've also added some tooltips to explain why the request a dock option might be greyed out, as well as an option to edit or remove assignments in the order queue, which I thought you could do already, but I might just be misunderstanding that last one, or what it means anyway. There's also been a few improvements to the way that some of the mission rewards are calculated, along with some performance improvements and a list of over 60 fixes to the game. I'll place these fixes in the description down below. Alright, so now for the 2.0 update. So as I said in my previous videos, the 2.0 update is aimed for release in February, and Egosoft have said that they're aiming to add the buildable player shipyard to X4 so that we can build our own fleets. They have also now mentioned that you'll be able to compete with other faction shipyards by selling ships to the war factions. Not entirely sure what that means, selling ships to the war factions, but that's what it says. Another new bit of information Egosoft mentioned about the 2.0 update is that they are going to make crew training a little bit easier when trying to get your crew to 3 stars and up. Which is awesome because I've had to rely on mods to be able to get my crew trained faster than what the base game currently allows. So that's, that's a nice addition there for 2.0. Right, so that wasn't a lot of new information on the 2.0 update, so that, that's it for that one. Anyway, for the 2.50 update, Egosoft will be adding a new ship type to the game, called a resupply ship. These ships are aimed to be the backbone of any fleet you create, and they are basically flying equipment docks. I can only assume this means that these resupply ships will be able to carry a huge amount of resources that the rest of the ships in your fleet will need to be combat ready at all times. Also for the 2.5 update, Egosoft are aiming to add a Linux version of the game, track IR Toby support, sector blacklists to stop your ships from flying through certain sectors of your choosing, and lastly, improvements on managing inventory items. That includes the ability to create and drop crates in space with them, and possibly even storing them on stations. So now for the plan 3.0 update, and this one is an exciting one for me because in this update, Egosoft want to expand on the feature in the game that allows you to take over a sector for yourself and rename it. There's very little information about what Egosoft want to do with this feature, but they have said that they will be adding a number of features to help us benefit from controlling a sector so we can basically become our own faction with our own set of rules. Another really cool thing that Egosoft want to do for 3.0 is to give us the ability to move our player headquarters to another location. However, they're not certain if this will make it into the 3.0 update just yet. I hope it does because I don't really like having my sector or my sector. I don't really like having my player headquarters in an asteroid field. It's just a pain for the AI to navigate to my headquarters. So hopefully that will make it into the 3.0 update. But anyway, Egosoft are also planning on adding new and improved combat missions to the 3.0 update and they want to combine this with improvements to the research you can do. I have no idea what these improvements will be, so we'll just have to wait until they release more information on the subject. Lastly, for the 3.0 update, Egosoft want to improve the ability for you to dock with a station in a spacesuit. 
allow you to give NPC ships a mission to transport you to different locations, and they also want to add at least one more new game start that might have some interesting new features, whatever those features may be. Now for the first big planned expansion of the X4 Foundations. Once again, there's very little information on this topic, but Ecosoft have said that they will be adding a lot of new ships, station modules, missions, and new sectors to the game. The expansion will be based on the introduction of the split race, the ships, a new split economy, and a big new area of space. I'm pretty sure I just said that twice. But anyway, there is no estimated release date for this expansion just yet, but they did say that it will be released shortly after the 3.0 update, which there is no estimated release date for either. So that's it for this X4 Foundations update video, and I have to say that I'm very excited about these future updates. But what about you guys at home? Are you excited about these updates? Is there anything different you would like to see implemented into the game? If so, then go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. I'd definitely be interested in hearing your thoughts and what you guys want out of the game. Once again, if you all enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button and subscribe. Share this video around to help grow my channel so I can do more videos like this more often. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.